In James chapter 1, verse 18 to 24, the Bible says, Of his own will equate us, and he us with the, with the word of truth, that we should be kind of first fruit of his creature. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let everyone be sweet and hear the slow, is slow to what? For what of a man worketh not the righteousness of God? Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and sober uh, fruity of naughtiness, and receive with the weakness of a grifted word, which is able to save your soul. But be ye the words of the word, and not hearer only, uh, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. And before, for he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway, forgetting, forget that, that uh, what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continued therein, he being not a for, uh, first fool hero, but a doer of the word, this man shall be blessed, and he still. The uh, book of James is a napaka-crucial na aklat ito. Ito yung ginagamit ng mga most of mga folks when it comes to if they don't believe about the faith alone that we're going to be saved. So the problem of this book, they are just only to, to study, is because the, this book of James is more about, uh, it's going to show what is the work. So, dito, makikita natin na medyo napaka-kwan siya, napaka-hirap uh, siyang mapag-aralan. Kasi ito yung mga ginagamit ng Seventh-day Adventists, yeah, mga Paul Gospel, mga Pentecost. So they believe that faith does work. And they don't understand what is the main content of this Bible. So if you're going to study about the life of James, James is one of the brothers of Jesus Christ. Right? So kung makita po natin yung tinatawag na buhay ni James, Nakita niya kung paano lumaki si Jesus Christ. Nakita niya kung paano nag-lead si Jesus Christ sa kanila. At alalahanin po natin mga kapatid, James, ah, si Jesus Christ pala, si Jesus Christ, namatayan sila ng maaga, ng, uh, namatay ng maaga yung kanilang father. And Jesus Christ will become the breadwinner of the family, and then He is the one who provides the needs of His family. So, ito ngayon, meron tinatawag na may pagka-perfectionist ito si James. Kasi nakita niya yung kanyang pan, yung idolo eh. Kung paano, kung paano sila ni-raise, kung paano siya nag-date si Jesus Christ sa kanila. And then he is looking forward that Jesus Christ is the most uh, model person na dapat gayahin. So, when it comes to this background, nakita po natin dito, na itong uh, chapter 1, verse 1, sabi niya, James, the servant of Jesus Christ, uh, Jesus, uh, the servant of God and and of the Lord Jesus Christ to be the two tribes of the two tribes which is scattered abroad greeting. So ibig sabihin, sinulat ito sa two tribes of Israel is because nag-scatter na sila. Ngayon, ang problema dito, kung pag-aralan natin itong book of James, he is more uh, speaking about good works. Okay? Good works siya. So makita natin dito na ang paano sasabi dito na yung good works eh, nagbibigay ng tag dito. Yung good works daw, siya daw yung magdadagdag ng, ng ating pan, ng ating kaligtasan. Kaya eh, nung nandun ako kay Pastor Caranias ng last Sunday, meron isang matanda ko na makakulit. Talagang ini-insist niya yung by works. Sabi, hindi, Pastor, kung naligtas na pala ako, hindi ko na kailangan gumawa. Di ba? Para ganun ba? Eh, medyo napanakulitan na ako. Hmm. Kasi sabi niyo, hindi ka pwede maligtas kung hindi mo lagyan ng mabuting gawa. So I illustrated to him. Sabi ko, tatay, sabi ko, uh, did you experience how to dra uh, driving some vehicles? Sabi niya, I'm driving a motorcycle, sabi niya. Nagdadrive ako ng motorcycle. So sabi ko sa kanya, kung nagdadrive ka ng motorcycle, may sakay ka, di ba? Sabi ko na doon. Oo, oh, sakay ko, asawa ko, sabi niya. 
So sabi ko sa kanya, kung nagdadrive ka, tapos yung asawa mo, pinapangunahan ka sa pagdadrive mo, magiging masaya ka. Nagdadrive ka ng motor, di ba? Oh, so sabi nga yun ng angkas mo, uy, magpreno ka! Di ba? So sabi nga yun ng angkas mo, uy, uh, 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 babanggat tayo, babanggat tayo! Kung ikaw driver, sino magdadrive dito? Is the one who drive here? Oh. Kung ikaw nagdadrive, and there is someone who are talking to behind you, and then he is the one who are questioning your driving, and he want to help you in driving, masaya ka ba? Ha? Oh, uh, mag, mag, mag-gawan ka na, mag-manubra ka, tapos kakambil ka, magka-clutch ka. Tapos sasabihin na ng angkas mo, oh, mag-call ka, mag-prino ka, mag-clutch ka. Masaya ka ba doon? Ah. Mukha akong driver doon, sasabihin ko sa kanya, huwag ko lang kaya mag-drive. And that is we speak, yung ginawa kong illustration sa kanya, when it comes to salvation. So, Mr. Gaw, si Jesus Christ sa cross, it is finished. Tapos na. Tapos na yung kaligtasan mo. Tapos na yung ginawa ko sa'yo. And then, ikaw gusto pang tulungan doon sa kaligtasan, sabi ko. How in the world, sabi mo yun. So, in, in this book, ito yung pinapakita dito ni James. Pero pinapakita niya dito, kung titignan po natin dito sa kanyang mga sulat, in chapter 2 verse 18, sabi niya, Even so faith, it had not works, is that being alone. Kapag ang iyong pananampalataya, lamang ang nakikita, ay patay. Amen po ba? You are saying that you are a Christian, you are saying that you have faith in God, and then you are not working for that kind of faith, sabi niya ni James, it is dead. Patay. Yeah, a man may say, Thou hast faith and have work, show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Thou believest that there is one God, and thou well, that devils also believe and tremble. Verse 20. But well thou know, O vain man, that faith without work is dead. Patay. Bakit tayo nagsisimba? Bakit tayo nagbibigay? Bakit tayo nandito, nagtitipon-tipon, the name of our Jesus Christ is because we are going to show our works. Ano po ba? Oh, let's go into the book of Matthew po muna. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 15, sabi doon, Beware of the false prophets which come to you with the sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are very wolves. You shall know them by their fruits, do men gather grapes of thorns or figs uh, of testers? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And a good tree cannot bear for evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. And every tree that are bringeth not fruit, good fruit, and hit, uh, hew down and cast into the fire. Verse 20. Mark that word. Wherefore, by the fruits ye shall know them. Ikaw kristyano. And you are claiming that you are a Christian. You are claiming that you are saved by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And you are claiming that you have faith in God. And then we cannot see it by your work. What's the problem? Kaya sinasabi ng mga pal, mga kulto ngayon, eh, Pastor, paano na kami? Sige, sabihin natin na tinanggap natin ng Panginoon. O sabihin natin na, na meron tayong pananampalataya sa Diyos. But the problem is, how about our works? Pero sinasabi dito ng what? Ng Biblia, in Matthew chapter 7, verse 15 to 20, sinasabi dito, By their fruits, ye shall know them. Hindi pwedeng magbunga ng ang mangga, puno ng mangga ng santol. Ay. Hindi pwede magbunga ng santol ng mangga. Ay. Ibig sabihin, once you are saved, once you receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior, you will see, and I, I, they're going to see you what is your work. And what is the fruit of your work. Kaya tayo mga Kristiyano, we want to serve God. We want to give. We want to, to go to the church and serve God. We want to go to the streets and share the word of God because we are going to show that we are saved. Amen. 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 But, dito mo yung emphasize natin na ikaw yung pwede, niligtas ng Diyos eh. 
Yun po ba? Naligtas tayo ng Diyos. It's because we have this kind of observation. We are going to show to the other people that the salvation that I have, na meron ako, ibig sabihin, it will go out. May ipakita, may ilalabas. May yung na tinatawag na proof sa yung tinatawag na salvation. Halimbawa, new believer ka. Yes, pastor, I will see the Lord Jesus Christ. But the problem is, it is hard for me to do this kind of work. Nahirapan. Nahirapan ako, pastor. Nahirapan ako sumunod. Nahirapan ako magsimba. Nahirapan ako na tinatawag na magbasa ng Biblia. And even the worshiping God, napakahirap. Bakit, pastor? But I received already the Lord Jesus Christ. Naalala ko pa, noong 1994, I was got saved. Oh, Nasave ako, 1994. Anong ginawa ko? Backslider ako. Kasi walang matinong nagtuturo ng Bible sa akin eh. Noong way back in Zambales, during that time, I remember, walang nag-disciple. Ang sabi lang sa akin, nagsimba, nagsimba. And then, yung pastor, nagpipreach. Tapos kapag tinatamaan na ako sa preaching, nagkagalit na ako. Ah, yung pastor na yun, bakit yung pakipersonal kong buhay pinapakailangan? Yung tao ko yung kapatid ko, bakit kung sinong bumuno sa pastor yung kalukuha ko? Yung si Pastor J.B. siya na remember this my younger brother. And I told him, what you're saying to the pastor? Why he knows what I'm doing? Para Holy Spirit yun. Ayun po ba? So, dito, nagkakaroon nga pala ng conviction dahan-dahan ng process. Meron nga bibilisin. In the process, you're going to learn the Bible, you're going to learn about Christian life, and you're going to learn dahan-dahan. And you're going to know what is the Bible going to say, and then you are going to bear a fruit, which is makikita sa'yo na ikaw lumala kong Christian. Amen. And dito ba, meron ito, matitindi pa ito, verse 21, no? Ignan po natin. Verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter to the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me, in that day, Lord, Lord, have you prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that were iniquity. Not everyone that who are calling Jesus Christ will go to be saved. Not our all people that they know about the Lord Jesus Christ will go to be saved. Not everyone that who going to prophesy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ will go to be saved. Okay? So ngayon, ito po yun. Tumatawag silang Lord Lord to Jesus Christ, but they don't have a right relationship with God. So nagkakas out sila, they do wonderful works, they do a work, But, sabi dito, sa verse 23, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work is iniquity. Ayan po ba? So ngayon, balik tayo doon kay James. So dito po, pinapakita ni Jesus ni James sa atin. Sabi niya, Wherefore my beloved brethren, let, verse 4 po tayo, James chapter 1 verse 19, Wherefore my beloved brethren, let everyone be show a swift to hear and slow to speak and slow to rock. Bakit yun ang sinasabi ni ni Juan, ni James? Yung tinatawag na let everyone sweep to hear. Ibig sabi na ba yung sweep? Di ba mabilis? Ang ibig sabi ng sweep to hear, dapat makinig tayo ng salita ng Diyos na yung nakipapakinggan natin, mabilis pumasok sa atin na walang tinatawag na pag-aalilangan, na walang tinatawag na mga pagdududa, that every time that the Word of God will go to preach, you need to listen, and then it is swift to come into you. Ito po yung problema sa mga Christian, hindi swift ang pagpasok ng Word of God sa kanila. Kaya ang nangyari, hindi swift, hindi mabilis ang pagpasok, ang nangyari sa nila, is laggard and slow yung growth nila. Ganun din po yung nangyari sa akin. I was saved 1994, but the Word of God is not swift to come into me, and then matagal akong nag-process when it comes to my Christian life. Nag-surrender na lang ako ng life ko during 2001. I surrendered my life in the Bible school. 
So sweet tanggapin mo. Mabilis mong tanggapin. And then, pag nag-sweet yan sa'yo, and then you're going to digest the Word of God, and then, by the grace of God, you're going to grow. Yes. Ano po ba? And next year, sabi po dito, slow to speak. Bakit slow to speak? Sweet mong mapakinggan, tapos, is slow to mag-speak. Ano po ba? Ang tinutukoy po ni James dyan, yung slow to speak, Ituro mo ng dahan-dahan sa tao ang salita ng Diyos. Why we have a Sunday school? Kaya yung work mo dito, bilang isang kristyano, ituro mo ang salita ng Diyos. You're going to slow to speak is because you are going to teach the word of God to all the people. Lalong-lalo na sa mga nasusulwining natin. Dahan-dahan yan. Dahan-dahan to speak, to share the word of God. Kaya po dito sa ating mga kapatid, sino ba? Dahan-dahan. Na maintindihan nila yung word of God. Kasi kung halimbawa, turuan natin kaagad ng banyan, ng indoctrination natin, hindi lang absolute. Slow. And then, slow to rock. Yan na. Papasok dyan ngayon yung tinatawag na patience. Okay? Alam niyo ba, kung minsan, bawa sa mga baguhan natin, tinuturuan ng word of God. Maraming pa yan eh. Proseso yan eh. Maraming tinatawag na pa. Huwag kang makalit. Huwag kang ma mainit ka agad. Sometimes, Christianity is not just a... Oh, Christian ka na agad. Ang salvation, yun lang yun eh. Once you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, yun na yun. Litas ka. But the problem is, growing. Amen? Growing. Tuturuan mo ngayon kung paano sila magtitiwala sa Diyos. Tuturuan ninyo ngayon kung paano sila ngayon magkakaroon ng tinatawag na, na, na kumuha at yung tinatawag na kung paano gumawa sa gawain ng Diyos. Dahan-dahan. And then, sabi niya, ang slow to rock, huwag kang mainip, huwag kang magalit, dahil sa sabi nito ng Bible, verse 20, For the rock of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Hindi nag-work out yung rock sa tinatawag na no, sa righteousness ng God. So meaning, yung rock kasi galit yan eh. Napupuot ka. Maraming kristyano din kumisa, napupuot. And then, what happened to them? Sa mga kristyano dyan, sabi ito, Wherefore, they apart all the filthiness and superfluity of the naughtiness and receive with meekness and engrafted word which able to save your souls. So, ibig sabihin dito, wag mong i-apply yung naughtiness mo, yung, yung filthiness dito, that you will become engrafted into the word of God. Ibig sabihin na lang yung engrafted. Sino ba nag-aaral ng agriculture dito? Sa Vietnam po, yung mga kamatis doon, ginagraf nila, ay yung talong, talong eh, yung talong doon, ginagraf nila yung kamatis sa talong para yung kamatis magbunga siya for five years. Ngayon po ba? Kaya yung agriculture doon sa Vietnam, napakayaman. At ginagawa na po dito sa Nova Isaya, pero bakit dito sa Pilipinas hindi pa ganun ka? Eh? Kaya nakikita po po ng kamatis doon, nalaki. At ang bunga, kamatis. Ngayon, grafted yun eh. Green up siya doon. So ngayon, kapag hindi ka grafted, dinikit ka doon sa word of God, kapag hindi ka dinikit doon sa word of God, sinasabi dito na ikaw ay hindi lalago. Pero sabi dito, which able to save your souls. Ibig sabihin, yung word of God na green up mo sa sarili mo, yun ang makapagliligtas sa iyong kaluwa. Ewan po ba? Yung word of God na grinafted sa iyo. And saan sabi niya dito? But be ye doers of the word and not only hearers only. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung narinig mo, grinaf mo yung word of God, nagsishare ka ng word of God, nagdi-disciple ka sa tao, and then sabi dito, gawin mo yung natutunan mo. Okay. Like for example, faith. Napakadaling subject. But sometimes Christians, we don't have faith. 
Very simple. Manampalataya ka sa Diyos. Dumarating ko minsan yung mga problema sa atin, but sometimes we don't believe God. Madaling sabihin na ikaw ay nananampalataya. Madaling sabihin na ikaw ay tumatikiwala sa Diyos. But sometimes you are just only here, but not a doer. Halimbawa, yung mga full times na nag-work, yung mga workers sa Panginoon, saan naman tayo nabubuhay? When I become a worker in the church for how many years, I work hard. But we work there and we have a ministry. Faith is just only exercising. You do your work. You are the doers of your faith. You need to exercise the faith is because you're going to believe that, that there is someone who's going to sustain for your daily life. God. You know what? Living in the communist country is a different way like what we are doing here. Yes. You know every Sunday kinakabahan ka ba kami? This is the police. Why are you doing that? We don't have freedom there. We're going to decide. And we go, God, we're going to decide. And we're going to follow what God's plan in our life. Yan yung faith. Yan yung tinatawag na doers. Amen po ba? Yeah. Ibig sabihin, ginagawa mo yung salita ng Diyos na natutunan mo yan yung tinatawag na ikaw bilang isang anak ng Diyos. Sabi nito, that you are going to follow what God says in your life. Why? It's because if you're not going to follow the word of God, you are deceiving your own selves. And then sabi nito, verse 22. The Bible says, for if a man, if, if, for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man beholding his natural face in the glass. Ito narinig ko lang ito nung last Friday. Bakit sabi doon beholding his face in the glass? Kung pag-aaralan po natin kung titignan mo sarili mo sa glass, ibig sabihin, ito na eh, perfect na eh. Ikaw ay ganito yung tsura ko, perfect na, di ba? Wala na akong ayusin. Pero ang tinutukoy dyan, Yung mukha mo, pagkagising mo sa umaga, pagkagising mo sa umaga, ano yung tura mo? What is your face view? Pagkagising mo sa umaga. Pugit ka ba? Maganda ka ba? Then nakamake up ka ba? Hindi, di ba? What you're going to do? Siyempre, maliligo ka. Pag naligo ka, ngayon ayusin mo sarili mo. Magsusuplay ka, di ba? Lalagay ka ng makeup sa mga babae. Kung sa lalaki ka, katanggalin mo yung mga bigote, palbas mo. Yan yung sinasabi na during pag bought up mo sa morning, tinigda mo yung salamin mo, ay salamin, and then you're going to fix, to fix yourself in the front of the mirror. Ganun po ang salita ng Diyos. Kapag tayo tumalo, tumayo doon sa salita ng Diyos, we're going to fix ourselves in the sight of God. We're going to fix ourselves to the Word of God. It's because marami tayong problema sa sarili. First of all, our faith. How our service to God. Aayusin natin yan. Every time that the pastor will go into preach here, every time that the pastor will go to share the Word of God, you are listening, you are looking yourself. Dahil bakit may aayusin ka sa buhay mo? May aayusin tayo sa buhay mo. We're going to fix ourselves in the sight of God so that we will become, anong pa doon? Perfect. Ang criteria ng Diyos to be perfect. Ano ba? Upright in the sight of the Lord. Kaya doon si Jesus, si Job, pinagmalaki ng Diyos kay Satanas. Look at my son, Job. Consider my son, Job. He is perfect and upright to God. Mature. Hindi easy pa. And once we are going to face any problems, sabi doon, you are going to be a doer of the word of God. Every time there, that there is a problem, you are going to fix yourself to God. You are going to behold yourself to God. Amen mo ba? Kaya ito sinasabi ni James sa mga taga 
Jerusalem. And he is the pastor of this church. Kasi sinasabi niya, magkiwala tayo sa salita ng Diyos. We need to work it. Our salvation, once we receive the Lord Jesus Christ, and what the Bible says, we're going to be saved. The salvation is inside of us. And once we say that God is my Savior, and then you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and that day, God will go into writing your name in the book of life, and then you're going to say it. And the problem is, we are living in this crucial world. A world that so but we are going to exercise our faith. Ito yung gusto sabihin ni James sa mga Christian. And once you hear the word of God, you need to do it. You need to follow. You need to follow. Follow the word of God. So ngayon, mirror ka. Titikdan mo yung sarili mo. Ito yung word of God, mirror yan. Titikdan mo yung sarili mo. Ano yung if you fix ko dito? Ano yung aayusin ko, Panginoon? Ano pa daka? Yung even na yung mga pastor, na missionary from other country, marami ka akong dapat baguhin at dapat ka rin. And every time the word of God is preached, nakikita ko yung sarili ko sa mirror. And I go to fix my face, I go to fix myself in the sight of God because I am not yet perfect. Amen po ba? Kaya dito po sa umagang ito, tayo po yung malangin.